All right, man. Kind of some uh, talks picking up around Detroit Lions potentially picking up a free agent running back. In free agency, you have uh, Josh Jacobs, Saquon Barkley, David Montgomery, Kareem Hunt, um, just to name a few. Miles Sanders, I think are like the top six. If I say that's what I say. Uh, Josh Jacobs, Saquon, Miles Sanders, Josh. Hold on, Josh Jacobs, Miles Killer, Miles, Miles Killer, bro. Josh Jacobs, Saquon, Miles Sanders, uh, Kareem Hunt, David Montgomery. Uh, and who else? There's always one more. There's one more in there. Uh, can't remember who it was, but you know, Saquon probably won't hit the market. He probably get franchised. Expected to let David Montgomery hit the market, but I'm not a fan of uh, dipping in free agency for running backs. You know, it's too many good running backs that's young, that's cheaper in the NFL draft. Um, Josh Jacobs has had his injury history. Um, Saquon has had his injury history. You know, Kareem Hunt, they had an opportunity to get him before he was getting in tro trouble. I mean, he went back home and didn't get in no more trouble. So far, so good. Um, pretty fresh, too. Not getting a lot of carries behind. Probably one of the best backs in the league, and Nick Chubbs. You know, um, love to have Saquon, but I just think, you know, you can save money at that position. You already got an effective back in Jamal Williams. When DeAndre Swift is healthy, he's an effective back. But if you're looking for, you know, a, a dynamic back, that, or that can do everything, you can, you can find him. You've seen the Houston, Texas found the Pierce kid. Jonathan Taylor was a second round pick. Um, so I'm not sure what this crop looked like. Brees Hall was phenomenal. Kenneth Walker, when he got a chance to got healthy, he was phenomenal. Um, so there, there's going to be backs in the draft that can be had, especially when you add a second round pick that could be had. There are back, there are backs that could be had in the draft. And I don't know what the talent looked like at the back position this year. Blake Quorum, I believe. Texas got a good running back I keep hearing about. It's a couple good running backs down in the Big 12 I'll keep hearing about. Um, so, yeah, I'm not a fan of going out there spending money on, on a running back. You know, Saquon and Josh Jacobs sound good. They both had injury histories. Miles Sanders would be a mid kind of level type of thing. I'd just rather go get a back. Cheaper. Um, it's cheaper. And um, it's cheaper. You know, they fresher. I um, mean, yeah, they can get injured too. I mean, the Lions have had their uh, issues about getting backs as well too. They've had their issues about um, getting running backs and all that type of stuff. Mikael Shore, Kevin Jones, Javi Best. We can go on and on and on about the number of backs that they could have had. Um, they had they had injuries, so. I mean, at the end of the day, man, when I think more known commodities and free, getting out of free agency, I'm thinking more interior linemen, I'm thinking more maybe linebacker, maybe a veteran corner, um, veteran left right guard. I'm thinking more about those, maybe adding a veteran tight end. I'm thinking about more of those positions, maybe a veteran quarterback, Lamar, somebody like that, that kind of make a little bit more sense, you know, in my opinion. So that's kind of where I'm kind of thinking and coming at it coming at it with um, this is my opinion there but I, I, I'm, I'm good I'm good even the sake when I hit the market I'm good I go out there and I spend draft compensation on a running back you can find a running back round one to, to get you know get out of here you know what I'm saying uh, so now I don't want to trade for Cam Makers you know what I'm saying Kareem Hunt none of that type of stuff I rather really just keep going I mean, look at the Bears. They found the Khalil Herbert kid. So, you know, to me, it make a lot of sense to go out there and, um, and just draft one. I think, you know, running backs, you know, it's great backs. It's like the NCAA tournament. It's great guard play everywhere, and that's what drives the NCAA tournament. It's great guard play everywhere. It's phenomenal guard, pick guard play all over the NCAA. All over. Phenomenal guard play. It's just like they say, what's the difference between like, you know, the swag and the difference between the swag and you know other conferences, or the middle, you know, the the the, the single A or smaller 
smaller uh, schools. It's not, you know, it's not the skill positions. It's great receivers, great backs everywhere. It's usually the quarterback position and the defensive defensive lineman in the front seven or the big uglies up front, you know, as they used to call them back in the day. That's the difference. Five linemen, you know, the four defensive linemen, three down linemen, four, four, five, two. They play it all in college. That's the difference up front, you know. And in the NBA, I mean, NFL, you can find a great back anywhere. We've seen, we found great backs, great receivers. Uh, we found them all everywhere. Everywhere. So, it, it, to me, it, it don't really matter. You can find great play, great, great backs and all that everywhere. Anywhere in the draft, after the draft, Terrell Davis was what, like a six-round pick. I mean, you know. The Florida boys, you know, I think Clinton Porter's the second round pick. Willis McGay, he fell because of uh, the knee injuries and all that. So I think Clinton Porter's might have fit, not Clinton Porter's, but uh, the Inconvenient Truth, one of the best nicknames of all, all time. Uh, Frank Gore probably fell because, I think, fell because of knee injuries. So, um, so yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm I'm being, I'm not spending big money at the running back position, especially when you got somebody like Jamal Williams. Um, to my young, you know, I'm willing to spend a first round pick for the right guy, but he's looking more second, third, fourth round back, explosive. You know, if you can find somebody like Kenneth Walker and Brees Hall, hopefully that injury don't change the trajectory of his career, then, yeah, somebody that can do it all, catch it, run it, you can find that guy. I, I just thought they were so valuable. It was it was kind of crazy how late they went in the draft. You know what I'm saying? You know, you see what they was doing, you know, what Kenneth Walker is doing, what Brees Hall was doing. He was different between Zach Wilson on the pine and, and playing and starting and not, not nobody really complaining about him. But me going in there spending, you know, big, big money on, on the back, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not even dipping in there. I run with Reynolds. I run with Swift if I had to, and I run with Jamal Williams, and I add a rookie in there. You know, and I, if I had to pepper uh, Swift in where I could pepper him in that, so be it. The rookie come in and take the take the bull by the horns. Jamal Williams keep taking the ball and running off with it. So be it. He the primary back. Whoever, you know, whoever's the guy is the guy. I'm more concerned if your see is dipping in there with a veteran right guard um, or a, a, a mid to late or early right guard to fill in for high tie and make the offensive line just that more dominant. So the good thing about high tie real quick is he can play inside and he can play some tackle. So that was the good thing about his versatility. But uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, we want to support the channel. Cash out dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. More videos like this. Appreciate y'all. Let me know what you girls and guys think. I know people want to say Juan, Josh Jacobs. Just not rolling the dice on it. Peace.